it again. I didn't vlog yesterday. I don't know if I'm getting burnt out on Vlogtober necessarily. Sorry, I just woke up, so I haven't like spoken yet. I don't think I'm getting burnt out. I think it's just like lately it's just been stressful. So I'm recuperating from all of that. I've been trying to upload this damn video for like full 24 hours now and it keeps failing every time and I don't know why. It might be because Vessel is shutting down in case you guys didn't know, Vessel will be no longer. So all my videos will be filmed and edited and posted when I film them. So that's kind of exciting for you guys. I don't have to worry about uh, worrying about seven days and especially when I work with companies or do sponsored videos, that can be kind of hard. Anyway, it's eight o'clock in the morning. I just woke up at like 7.30 or so. I actually woke up from a dream and then the cats were annoying. And then I was like, I really want to keep sleeping. But I looked at the time and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get up. It's eight o'clock and I'm up and I'm debating showering them like now or tonight because I don't really want to wash my hair yet because I want to do something with it. Uh, maybe like put it all up because I never wear it and when it's dirty I like to like put it up or do something different with it because when it's clean, it doesn't cooperate with anything. But I'm gonna be filming today. I need to charge my cameras and stuff. I need to upload to Depop. And it's kind of gonna be a chill, relaxing work day. Basically, I'm just gonna ignore my school stuff that I have to do and focus on YouTube today. Today's a YouTube day. Other than that, that's kind of all I got going on. I can't believe I'm only vlogging until Monday. Today's Friday. How is that even a thing? Like, I feel like I haven't been vlogging that long, but I feel so natural with it that I'm like, should I stop vlogging? <laughs> you let me know if you want me to keep going through the end of December because I was thinking about doing November just because it's in between Vlogtober and Vlogmas and then doing Vlogmas. You guys let me know what you'd prefer. Just finished getting ready. Uh, took some selfies because that's what I do when I actually put my face on. Oh my God. That's a turkey on my fucking roof. <laughs> it keeps pecking at the plastic. I swear to God, if it breaks through. Pecking. Oh my God, this is like a horror movie. Look at this. <laughs> this is so weird. It looks through that right there. It looks through that little hole right there and it sees me. I know it can. Oh, <laughs> it just slid off. <laughs> Poor little guy. Oh, I thought since I have stairs, I would work out on them. So this is my uh, workout attire. I got my Adidas shorts on from Goodwill. This shirt that says Barely Human on it. This is my favorite workout shirt. I just, I, I'm obsessed. It's from Glamour Kills, my sports bra, and uh, I threw my hair up. I'm doing it in makeup, even though I'm gonna totally waste this makeup, even though I filmed and like took selfies in it. I don't really like working out in makeup because it, I feel like it clogs my skin, but whenever I work out, I swear to God, my skin clears up because I'm sweating it out, I don't know. But then with makeup on top, I feel like my skin can't breathe. Put on some music and I'm going to just run up and down the stairs. Let's do this. I feel like that was quite effective. I worked out for like 20 minutes. I did four songs on the stairs and I'm sweating. So clearly I need to build up some endurance, but 20 minutes is pretty good. I took some slow, uh, slow moments there, just walking up the stairs instead of running. I feel like that's really effective though. I could do that like every day, 20 minutes, not even that bad. Now I'm gonna take a shower and I'm gonna do a face mask, get this makeup off and stuff. It's kind of weird taking my makeup off at three o'clock in the afternoon. Usually I wear it until the night, but I don't have to, why would I put that on, like leave it on my skin, you know? Yeah. Aren't you cute? Are you cute? I'm going to Walmart, I'm out of food. Like I really don't know what I could make. I have eggs from Ryan's chickens. I could have some eggs, but I'm really not in the mood. <coughs> So I'm gonna pick up some bread. I'm gonna get maybe some tortillas, I don't know, and some veggies. Honestly, I'm probably just gonna get a lot of ramen because I'm broke right now, but uh, yeah, that's the plan. I'm going with wet hair because I don't care. And I also have to pee, which any, if anything, that just makes me shop faster, so I guess that's not a bad thing. Okay, we're gonna do a little grocery haul. Don't mind the background, it's, I'm trying not to get it, but if I do, I'm sorry. I got the cheapest uh, whole grain bread I could find. I didn't necessarily want it to be whole grain, it doesn't matter to me, uh, but I guess that's healthier, right? Cheapest romaine hearts I could find. I mean, honestly, iceberg lettuce is a lot cheaper, but romaine's just so much better for you, so I put these on sandwiches. I got a bag of crack for me, which is Brussels sprouts. I'm obsessed with Brussels sprouts, and it is the season 
of Brussels sprouts, so I'm excited. I got some uh, tortillas. I only get the Guerrero kind because that's John Michael's last name, so. And he uh, forbid me from getting any other tortillas and they're the cheapest, so why not? And then life hack guys, mushrooms. Okay, if you don't like mushrooms, I'm sorry. But mushrooms, if you're trying to go vegan or even vegetarian, putting these on your sandwiches instead of cheese is a miracle. It honestly kind of reminds me of the texture of cheese. I mean, obviously it's not cheese, but I can eat a sandwich without cheese in it with mushrooms in it, like raw. And then we got, I splurged a little bit and got some uh, seaweed. These I love, I'm obsessed with seaweed. This is so good and Pepe's obsessed too. Every time he hears this package, he comes running. I stocked up on oriental uh, ramen because it's the only vegetarian flavor that they make, so yeah. And then I didn't want to get the eight pack of these, but these are my favorite veggie burgers, the Grillers Original. I actually don't really like the veggie ones that are like made of vegetables or beans or chickpeas. I like the ones that are fake meat, like with the soy, which isn't necessarily healthy, but they're my favorite. I just put these on some bread and make it into a sandwich. I don't really eat them like a burger, but they only had the eight packs. So this is like over $6, but for eight, that'll last me like over a week. So... I'm okay with it. Good morning, guys. It is the 29th, only a couple more days of Vlogtober, and it's kind of sad. Uh, I still haven't decided if I'm going to continue vlogging or not. Uh, right now, I'm gonna check out Big Brother Over the Top because I never saw it or really heard about it. Anyway, it's almost 10 o'clock. Uh, yesterday, I slept, I woke up at like 7.30, and today I woke up at nine, so you know. Ooh, my cough is ready. I'm gonna go get some of that. You guys, it's my other cat. You guys never see her ever, huh, princess? Yeah, that's my little girl. And she's so pretty. Sorry, Pepe, but I think she's prettier than you. Pepe is eating currently, which makes me a little nervous because he's been throwing up all day. So, uh, obviously I didn't vlog today because it's nighttime now. Actually, it's only like 6 p.m., 7 p.m., I don't even know. Sam came over, I did her makeup for a date and then I worked on my presentation. I finished my slides, so my group will not suffer now because I did that part. Still have a paper due on the same day that I haven't started, but when do I ever do a paper more than two or three days in advance? Doesn't happen for me. I didn't really clean or do any of that, but I did uh, spend an hour or two on my horror channel working on the descriptions, updating descriptions and titles and things. I also changed the layout, like I updated the photo and the like title header thing, which I did the header and photo for my main channel yesterday, so that was productive as well. And then I updated my bujo, my bullet journal, which I'm still doing by the way. I'm gonna do it for I think two more months and then I will film a video on it. I'm gonna do two more months in the current book that I have and then I'm gonna buy an actual bullet journal because if I can maintain it for at least three months I think then I deserve like an official bullet journal but honestly the videos watching people bullet journal is like the most relaxing thing it's probably like ASMR to other people which I don't understand ASMR personally it doesn't affect me like that but bullet journal videos definitely do so I'm gonna make my own because I love bullet journaling now like I am definitely not as creative as some people I'll give you a little peek so my weekly spreads tend to look like this I don't draw on them I don't do anything fancy and then so I'm gonna cover up some things I always see people cover things up in their bullet journal I'm like what is so private and then I realize when I write in it that it's actually private so I can't show you uh this is my pending sponsorships page so I have like lists going on I have my month at a glance here which you can see all that I don't care. I made a tracker for November which starts obviously on Tuesday so we'll see how I do. I have play with cats, litter boxes, read, floss, and exercise. Those are things I'd like to do every day. And then I have my bills page. I decided to write out all my bills and how much they are and stuff so I am just being an adult there. And then this weekly spread for this upcoming week is just like this. Honestly like my bullet journal videos aren't gonna be that exciting <laughs> because I'm so basic. I'm not artistic or anything. But I mean honestly that might even be a breath of fresh air for some people because I get discouraged sometimes watching all of these people who are super artistic and their bullet journals like they spend hours on them and I don't. I just spend maybe an hour um, but I'm still testing it out. You know I think I think you have to start somewhere with it and I think a lot of people mess up and then they get discouraged but you really shouldn't because I hate the first part of this journal like I hate how it looks so honestly I can't wait to start a new one because I just want to get rid of all of that so big brother over the top didn't work out I didn't really like uh, or like 
start anything. I don't know. I couldn't find the official videos and I don't have a CVS account. So I'm marathoning Australia's Next Top Model season eight, I believe. Okay, I'm gonna wrap on today's vlog because I'm not gonna do anything else tonight and I'm so excited about that fact. I don't know if I wanna watch a movie. I kind of do, but I feel like my attention span is so short lately. So I probably will just watch my show to be honest. But I hope you enjoyed this two day vlog instead of three. I mean, I don't know. I definitely do a lot better when I combine the days into multiple days. Oh, before I go, I wanted to address the question of the day that I was going to do and then never did. It's because of the delay with Vessel. It would have been really weird to ask a question that was asked or answer a question that was asked like two videos prior. So I think now that Vessel's over in Vlogmas, it'll be so much easier because I can upload the videos like right away and then see the response right away. So I'll definitely do it for Vlogmas. I'm sorry I didn't do it for Vlogtober like I said I would, but stay tuned for Vlogmas. Question of the day, we'll do it. One other thing I can update you on is what I've been reading lately. I've been reading every night, which is a habit I really want to get into. So I'm trying to just do it for, what is it, 60 days to build a habit? That's a long time. But I'm trying to get into it. So I've been reading the Ugly series, which is really good. I think I mentioned it before in another vlog. I don't really know. But I'm making progress now. I'm like a quarter of the way done with this one now. But I would love some book recommendations. My favorite are teen books and horror novels. So, and I know it might be weird that I like teen books, but they're honestly my favorite. If I were to ever become a writer officially, I would want to write teen horror, but I would love to hear your book recommendations. Something like Hunger Games, Ugly's Pretty Specials, uh, Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Those are all books that I've read and really liked. So if you want to give me any recommendations from those. I live right next to a high school now, and sometimes at night I can hear football games and it's really loud. <laughs> Luckily they don't go that late, but I always hear like music or like the crowd and it's really weird. Anyway, that's it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you tomorrow.